hey there guys and welcome back. On this week's show, <laughs> part five of our ship in a bottle tutorial. When we left last week's show, I started to talk about the sails and saying that they were made out of paper. We had just finished off all of the riggings and that sort of thing, and it's time to mount the sails, which is the last part to do to the ship itself before we move on to the bottle. So what we need is a piece of paper and a little bit of coffee. Well, in order to make the sails, we need some paper and I'm going to be using some lined, just writing paper and it's too white for me. It is too light, too new looking. So what I want to do is I want to stain this paper using some coffee. So I've made up a, a little batch of strong coffee here and we're just going to dump this in here. Not all of it. We'll see how it goes. And we want to stain the paper so that it doesn't look as new. So there we go. And we'll just make sure that we get both sides. And once we get this saturated in coffee, I'm going to hang it up to dry. Well, it's the next day and here we have our paper. So we need to make our sails. And what you have to do is on the inside line closest to your front mast, we need to take a rough measurement here along this line. It doesn't have to be exact, but roughly from about here to here. And then another measurement back part, part way to the mast and then back up. And this will form a triangle here. What you need to do then is take your paper, fold it in half, and transfer your marks onto your paper at the fold. And then you can cut them out. And let me just show you this here. I'll just cut one. Now, the sails on these front wires will be doubled over and glued to our wires. So let me just slide this on here to show you how this goes. So that will get glued on something like that. Now, when you glue it on, you just want to make sure that you don't glue it to the string. We're going to use a white glue that dries clear. So we'll add a little bit of glue on there. We'll glue this together and you want to shape it while the glue is still wet. Then the glue will dry and it will hold its shape. You want to give it a curve like it's billowing with the, with the wind. As I said, though, make sure that you don't glue your string in there. With your rear sails, all you really need to do is cut a shape that will coincide with your spars. So the bottom spar will be flat or horizontal. The upper spars will be raised a bit, like just like this. And your pieces of paper or sail will then get glued between each of the spars, top and bottom. Again, with a bit of a curve to it, but they're only single layer sails uh, because they have an attachment point top and bottom. So I've released all of our main lines here and we're just going to try to glue these sails on and hopefully we do all right with it. So we're just going to apply a little bit of our white glue onto the inside of our sail. Again, I can't stress enough, don't get it in by the fold because we do not want it to glue to the string. And then around the string. And there we go, and just make sure it still slides. And like I said, at this point, make sure that you curve it however you want. And it will dry like that. There we go. 
So I'm going to tighten these main lines back up because having them loose like this is causing me some problems. And then when I get that done, uh, I'll glue the rest of the sails in place. And we'll just go on to the second line here. Like that. Fold it back over. And pinch it down in place. Make sure that it moves. And we'll move on to the next one. And to give the sails a little bit of a curl, I'm just using a piece of dowel and rolling the sail around the dowel and that will, once it dries, help to get it to hold that curved shape. And now for the back sail, we're just going to use a little bit of CA glue along the edge of this spar. Just like that, just a little bit. You don't need much. And we're going to place this right onto our spar. That's the bottom one mounted. And now we can do the same with the top. We'll just straighten up our mast, align our spar and put it in place. And then we'll just repeat the process with the middle sail. And there we go. There are all five of our sails mounted on our ship. And with that, that is as far as we go with this boat. It is ready to put into the bottle, but unfortunately the bottle is not ready for the boat. So for that, well, you know what? Let me show you what we need to do. Well, with our ship done, we now need to turn our attention to the bottle and creating our ocean. And what I've done is I've made a makeshift stand here just to stabilize the bottle and keep it in place while I'm working on it. You want to make sure that you know exactly how much space is in your bottle height-wise and how tall your ship is. There are many different ways to create an ocean, but the one I'm going to show you today, the first step involves some resin. And you need to know how much to pour, and that's where the height of your bottle and the height of your ship comes in play. Now, my bottle is approximately, I know you say you want to know exactly, but it's approximately five and a quarter inches. So I have about five inches of space on the inside of the bottle, and my ship is four inches tall which means that for the resin, I don't want to pour any more than one inch inside of that. And even that is pushing it. So I'm going to pour three quarters uh, of an inch of a layer of resin in here. And I may even go less than that once I see how it looks in the bottle. And how I've marked that is with a piece of masking tape. So the bottom of this masking tape represents three quarters of an inch up from the bottom of the bottle. Well now, clear resin would look a little strange in there, so we need to color the resin. And for that, I'm going to be using some oil-based paint. This is cobalt blue, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to mix up a resin and we're going to dye it or color it with this oil-based blue paint. Well, I have my resin and my hardener measured out into my mixing cup here. And I'm just going to add a little bit of this oil-based paint. I'm not sure how much we're going to need. 
but I'll just keep adding it until I think the color is right. Let's try that. And we'll carefully mix up the resin and add the oil paint until we get a color that we're happy with. And once you're happy with your color, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a funnel with a tube attached to it. We're going to put it in the neck of our bottle, just over about the middle, just like this. And we're going to very carefully pour our resin into our bottle. And once you've reached the level that you're happy with, I would suggest leaving this hose in the bottle until the resin has cured. Uh, you really don't want to be messing around with trying to clean cured resin out of the inside of a neck of a bottle should you slip. So I'm just going to suspend this here. I think I've got plenty in there at this point. Yeah, it looks like we're good. So I'm going to suspend this hose in here so that it's not touching anything and we'll let that cure. Well, here it is the next day and we can carefully remove our resin tube now. You still want to be careful taking it out just in case some of this resin here is not completely dry. And we'll worry about getting that out of the tube a little later. I think once we break the seal of it in there, it should come right out. But it's now time to work on our ocean inside the bottle. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to fabricate some tools that we can work on the inside. So let me show you what it is that I've made here. Well, this is the great thing about this hobby is that it doesn't really take any specialized tools. And these are the tools that I will use for both making the ocean as well as situating and setting up my ship inside the bottle. I have two pieces of coat hanger here. All the tools are made from coat hangers. You can get as simple or as fancy as you want. These two here are bent into various shapes uh, with a little kind of a spoon placed at the one end. This one here has a sharp little bend in it. That's for getting close to the neck of the bottle when you're making the ocean. And this one here has a bit of a longer uh, offset in it and that will be for getting to the back of the bottle for making your ocean. I've also got an L hook here and I've pounded this flat and that will help it to keep that L shape so that I can use it to press my ship in place without distorting the end of my hook. It'll also help to maneuver the boat, shift things around, or if something gets hooked or caught in any of the rigging, you can hook it out. And for those worst case scenarios, I have a sharpened hook, uh, which will also help me to pull the masts up and untangle any lines. You just want to be careful here. I've ground this end to a point, but then filed it off. You don't want any super sharp edges there that could possibly cut your rigging should uh, it get caught on it. So we're going to start placing the ocean or forming the ocean in the bottle. I'm going to readjust my camera and the first thing that we need is some clear silicone and some of that oil-based paint that we dyed our resin with. Well, I have some clear silicone here placed on a scrap sheet of Plexi and we're just going to add a little bit of our oil-based paint to it, trying not to make too big of a mess. There we go, just a little bit. And we're going to mix this in and color our clear silicone. There we go. I think I might like that a little darker. So I'm going to make it a little bit darker. Now you don't have to fully mix it through. You can have dark areas and light areas through it. Uh, the, the ocean is not a solid blue color. It has different shades of blue throughout. So don't feel obligated to fully mix it. 
All right, I think I'm pretty happy with that little mixture there. And now it's time to start inserting it into our bottle. I've turned off some of the overhead lights uh, just so that I wouldn't be getting as much of a glare off the bottle. So hopefully the image is still going to be fine. And all you want to do is scoop a little bit of this blue silicone now onto one of your spoons. And you want to very carefully insert it in the neck of your bottle. Now the thing with resin is that resin doesn't stick very well to this glass. So you kind of are going to use the silicone to seal it in. So we're just going to reach in here carefully and I smeared some on the glass, but that's going to happen. We can clean that up afterwards and we'll just smear this silicone onto our ocean. And what you want to do is you want to get it over to the one side and all over the sides in order to seal in that resin to the side of the glass. So push it right up until it gets onto the glass and then you can maneuver and manipulate your, your silicone to create waves. This is a time consuming process and don't think it's going to be quick because it's not. I fully expect that I will be getting quite a bit of silicone into the neck of the bottle by mistake. And what I intend to do is I'll clean it up afterwards before it dries. So we'll just go right to the back, place that silicone down there. It won't take you long to figure out the process of this and how to maneuver and manipulate the silicone. You can use the neck of the bottle to help you to steady the end of your coat hanger tool so that it's not wiggling all over the place and causing you problems. And because of course the fact that these tools are made from coat hangers if it's not working for you and it's the wrong shape, bend it up, <laughs> bend it up. You can easily make a new one. It's not that big of a deal. So I'm going to carry on with this, applying silicone and forming our waves. One thing I will caution you on is do not get the silicone you want to leave an area in the center of the bottle that is going to be uh, where your ship goes. You want that to be clear or void of any of the other silicone because we will be putting white there to glue our uh, ship in once, once we get it, our ocean complete. So you can see there, I'm getting it right to the back of the bottle and kind of pushing it up against the sides to seal that resin in against the glass. So just take your time and form the blue waves of your ocean. And we'll just give you a different angle there from the top. It's been quite a while since I started this. I have quite a bit of silicone in the neck where I've slipped and made a bit of a mess, but that's okay. That's part of the process. Sometimes you can't help it. And we'll just place that silicone in there. You can see how I'm kind of working it to the edge.
because I want it to be up against the glass. And you can form your waves however you want. You can try to create swells if you like. All right. So hopefully from the top you can get a better view there. So you sort of see how this is done now. I don't think we need a super long video of me applying a silicone ocean here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply all of the blue silicone and once I get the blue done, I'll come back and I'll see you. Well, I don't know how well the camera is showing it, but I think that's it for me for the blue. Now, I do have some mess here of silicone in the neck, so I'm going to clean that up, and I see a couple areas down here in the bottle. We're going to get down there with a coat hanger and a little piece of cloth, and we'll clean those up. And once we get that done, we're going to need just a little bit of clear silicone. Well, the clear silicone is just to give your waves a little bit of depth and a little bit of shimmer to them. You don't need a lot of clear. So you'll just put some on your tool. And we're just going to go around and just add it in the waves. Like we don't need a lot here. Just a little bit. By adding the clear as well, you're making it so that your waves are not so blue. You know, it's giving some contrast in there. So for this, you're going to go around and on each one of your waves, just give it a little bit of clear. You don't need a lot. and carry on until you get your entire ocean with a little bit of clear on it. Oh, I just got a little bit of clear on my bottleneck. <laughs> That's all right, I'll wipe that off after. A little bit too much clear in this area, so you can just use your spoon to kind of either shift it or scoop it off. All right, so I'm gonna carry on with the clear. And once I get that done, although the camera may not be showing much of a difference here, I can see the difference in person. So we'll get the clear all applied in here. And then there's one more step to get your ocean looking right. And that will be some white silicone. Well, now using your spoons again and your white silicone this time, we're going to get in there with just a little bit, a lot less than any of the other ones we've used. And what we're going to do is we're going to create white caps on our waves. And you just need to dab it on there on each one of these waves. You really don't need a lot. And you will learn very quickly how much is too much. Just a little bit will do you because Overdoing it will make it look like you're in a raging sea. Unless, of course, that's the effect that you're going for. In which case, by all means, lay it on there. I don't want a super calm sea, but I don't want tsunami stuff going on here either. So again, just a little tiny bit. You want to make sure that when you're doing these white caps that you're getting right to the edge of your bottle. 
Otherwise, you'll end up afterwards with what looks like a dark blue line all the way around. And you don't want that. You want it to look uniform. There you go. So hopefully you're getting the idea here. Again, I don't want to bore you to death with a half an hour video of me adding white caps to my little C here. Uh, but hopefully I've given you enough information and enough of a visual here that you guys can pick it up from here. So I'm going to add all the white caps and then I'll show you what comes next. And unfortunately, that's all the time that we have for this week's show. We have made some fantastic progress so far up until the end of part five here. I don't know what else to say. We've got our ocean done. I'm looking forward to next week's show. Next week's show will hopefully be the finale where we get that boat into the bottle. And uh, oh, guys, this has been a great build. If you haven't already, guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Click the bell so that you don't miss the notifications of future episodes of the show. This has been a heck of a lot of fun. I hope that you're enjoying the content up till now. I honestly hope that you're following along and making your own. And more importantly, I hope you're going to join me again next week when I bring you yet another Alternative Tuesdays.